Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today on day two of CICD failures, I will be covering another top five Q&A which are most frequently asked in interviews. I make these videos based on real world scenarios because honestly, that's what you are asked in interviews. Before we start, don't forget to watch part one. Link to part one is in the description below. So let's get started. Let's start with question number six. A deployment to production failed halfway. How do you investigate and roll back using your CI-CD pipeline? Here's how you can answer. First, I would check the pipeline logs to identify exact stage where it failed. Then I would validate if the failure was due to a config image or infra issues. If needed, I would trigger a rollback using previous successful artifact or version. We usually tag stable releases, so reverting is quick and safe. Moving on with question number seven. Your CI pipeline is taking 40 plus minutes to build. How would you optimize it to reduce the time without affecting functionality? Here's how you can answer. First, I would enable build caching to avoid rebuilding unchanged components. Then I would parallelize stages like tests and builds where possible. I would also review unnecessary steps, large dependencies or image sizes. If needed, I would also split the pipeline into smaller jobs for faster feedback. Moving on with question number eight. You need to deploy your changes to three environments, dev, QA, prod. How would you manage environment specific configurations in your pipeline? Here's how you can answer. I would use separate values files or environment variables for each stage. Pipeline would pick config based on the target environment. For example, values dev yaml values qa yaml values prod yaml i would also add a manual approval before production deployment for safety moving on with question number nine your application is deployed via helm and a recent deployment failed due to values file issue how would you identify and fix this in cicd here's how you can answer it I would first check the Helm release logs using Helm status and Helm get values. Then I would compare the deployed values with the intended one from the git. Once identified, I would correct the values file and rerun the pipeline. Going forward, I would also add a validation using Helm lint. Moving on with the last question. You pushed a commit and the CI pipeline is stuck at a specific stage test or build how would you debug it this is how you can answer i would open the pipeline logs and see where it's getting stuck usually a long running command or resource wait i would check for any recent changes in that particular stage or script or any dependencies if needed i would rerun with debug flag or add more logging also, I would verify runner resource and timeouts in the config. That's it for part two. If you found this video helpful, like and share it. Comment below with the scenario questions that you have faced in your interview. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such videos. Stay tuned for part three.